Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing today, Babette? Doing good? Hopefully we get to sing together today. That would be good. Of course, today we're doing something for Casey. And it doesn't have to do with those regulator pump things. He wants us to find out what happened to his team. So the tourist is going back to school. And it does seem as if May has got something for me, but once again, this is a Casey day, May. Yesterday was a you day. Today's a Casey day. Maybe tomorrow is going to be a tourist day. We're going to have to see. It really depends on the tower, doesn't it? As a matter of fact, why don't we just find out what's going on today with the tower? Focus supply raid. Buy water. Food stockpile discovered. Rampart. Reclaim scouts infiltrating. The shallows. Now that's interesting. Interesting. This is where we start getting these teams from both sides who are basically just going to kill anyone they see. But you know what? They can carry some really good things. So that's not actually a deterrent. That is an incentive. In the shallows, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's just check the load out here. Now, the tourist was thinking on this, and we are going to Rampart, and we are going to school. So we don't want to take too many firearms with us, uh, because I don't think for this that this is going to be necessary. So we're just going to leave that behind, whereas Bad Bad is always necessary, yeah. If for no other reason to give me advice, should I shoot that? Yes, you should. Yeah, I always agree with Bad Bad. All right, so I'm thinking, though, this is still useful, even though there's not a lot left on it, mostly because it gives me access to explosives. So that's kind of the reason I'm going to bring that with me. Not for the arrows, but for the booms. That way I don't have to tie up my inventory, which does remind me... Yeah. Mm. We want our equipment and Babette lasting as long as possible now, don't we? Yes, we do. And I am thinking a couple of things. Yeah, given the circumstances, another knife wouldn't be a bad idea. Also, yeah, 59 is just a terrible number. So why don't we just kind of do that? Yeah, 75 is much better. Just like... 72 is really good for Bad Bat. She gets to do a lot of killing with that. Alright, so I guess we're back to school. Yeah, the tourist in school. Yeah, we didn't part well. It didn't seem to have anything that the tourist really wanted, so the tourist just kind of left. Some people, it's really great. The tourist, not so much. He has other plans, doesn't he? Doesn't he, Bad Bat? Yes, he does. Of course, now I have a partner, don't I? Yes, I do. A partner in, well, not crime, in his motivation for the future. Yes. Bang. All right, so let's just take a look at the situation here and see what we're going to be doing here. Of course, we know what we're going to be doing. Yeah, the shallows. Ooh, you know, we might be going back there real soon. Yeah, unfortunately, Via Corolla, the last day of Nobels. But there's no other reason to go there, so... Yeah, we're just going to wait for an opportunity in the future. Kind of like this, if we could. Ah, buy water. Yeah, an extra loot. That might be some place we want to visit there. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be it. But today, of course, we are going to Rampart. There's going to be a food cache here. That would be useful. I do need sugar. Sugar is very important in the diet. It's also very important for increasing my health. All right. Well, you know what? Time to go back to school. Ah, that does look like a gymnasium. And that is where Casey said we should begin our search. Right? Was there? Right? Um, yeah, that's not what we're doing today. Yeah, search the, uh, the gymnasium. So we're looking for four of Casey's quote-unquote friends. One of them was a friend. The other ones didn't seem to mesh very well. 
I can't wait to hear the story with that. Should be really interesting. Huh. Yet yeah, that's a gymnasium, all right. So, okay, that door is really solid, isn't it? Huh. All right, well, let's look around and see if there's an opportunity. Maybe there's like a back door. Hmm. I don't see any of the dead. Maybe they all went back to school. All right, let's be careful. I don't want to burn too much. Oh, I see an opportunity. Yes, I do. Anybody around? Wouldn't want anyone sneaking up on me. All right, let's see here. Can I get up here? And uh, here. Now, who was it that went ahead and did that? Hmm. All right, so let's see here. All right, let's go. It's a good thing I don't skip arm day. Oh, I see. Locker room. All right, so let's see here. So was this the ladies' locker room? And the boys wanted a way in? All right. Let's see. Let's look around. We already saw that there was somebody there, right? Ooh, robot. Did I just throw that over my shoulder? I think I just threw that over my shoulder. Hold on a minute. You in there? No, you in there. All right, let's just see what we can get here. You never know. We might get lucky. I need Twinkies. So maybe we get some Twinkies. No Twinkies? No Twinkies. Yeah, we did see somebody... Walking around there, didn't we? I don't see nothing at all. I mean, don't these youngins have things in their lockers? Okay, well, we have that. Oh, actually, hold on a minute. Does that have... Oh, open. Uh, it's got some stuff. All right, you know, we should probably be moving along. Because after all, yeah, the bells are a thing. Anybody in here? Ooh, ooh, do I see... Ooh, a breath mint. Yeah. Got some sugar. Got some sugar. All right, we should probably just move along here. Yeah, that looks fun. That looks like a lot of fun. I see blood. All right, do I see... One of Casey's friends here. All right, you're not going to be needing that. All right, what do you got here? Casey, with the goddamn wine. I'm about to put my fist through his teeth. We did what we had to do. Live with it. End the story. How the fuck that beanpole made it through basic is beyond me. Soft as a melted fucking marshmallow. Different story with Kenny. I respect the guy, but that doesn't mean he gets a pass. The questioning has to stop. We had to protect what was rightfully ours. This bunker is our home. The supplies are our lifeline. If we did not defend it, we'd have all been dead within two weeks. Now we can last months, maybe longer. We can survive this. A brutal decision was made, but we have to fucking stand by it, unified. If Kenny and Casey don't fall in line soon, I'll have no problem marching them out of the bunker door with a gun to the back of their head. <laughs> yeah, how did that work out for you, by the way? All right, so we're starting to get an idea of what may have happened, but I'd still like to hear more of this story. You want to know who you're dealing with, after all, don't you? Yeah, let's see here. Anybody in here? Hello? Oh, yeah, there's a lot going on out there, so I should probably be working on this. Hello? Excuse me. Yeah, she didn't have a very big attention span there, did she? But then in that, that's the way it is mostly with these days with school. All right. Oh, I don't know. All right. Let's get some stamina back. Let's get some stamina back. Yep. Okay. There's, there's a lot of students here, huh? Yes, there is. Okay. Stamina, stamina, stamina. All right. Sleepy time, sleepy time. Oh, I think I found another one of their friends. Well, maybe it's that friend, Kenny, huh? No? All right. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that that is not Kenny. No. All right, so... 
Anything good around? Wasn't about to let those bastards steal all our shit. It's dog eat fucking dog now, and I'm the mama pit bull. Foster and Trin understand what's up. When you go through something like that together, something that ugly but necessary, you develop a bond to the group, no doubt. The other two, <laughs> fuck them. I don't get it. Casey acting like he's innocent. Bunch of bullshit. And Kenny with his moral high horse routine, not gonna put up with him much longer. I'm watching. They so much as blow a fucking fart in my direction, I'll put their asses down. Zero hesitation. Only the ruthless will survive this shit. Yeah, I'm kinda in, uh... I'm kinda in the ballpark of agreeing now with Casey. These people... Yeah, not so good, are they? Alright, so that's two of them, but we haven't found Kenny. Huh. Oh, hi, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, oh. Uh. Okay. Huh. Is that the front door? I think that might have been the front door. Ooh, that's interesting. Alright, let's just uh, see where this goes. Oh, hi. How you doing? How's it going? <laughs> Sleepy time. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the, a good book. Yeah, you know, pillows ain't such a bad thing. Okay, wait a minute. Can I get that, please? Thank you. There we go. More pillows. Hey, if we got nothing else, right? All right, so let's see. Ooh. Okay, hopefully you're not Kenny. What was it, Pwnbot? Ooh, Time Noise Maker Bot. Ooh, that's kind of a good recipe to get right there. Oh, and I see we got us uh, an extra pistol, which is extra ammo. I'll take that for the moment. And, uh... I'm a good person. I know I am. Well, I saved my cousin Billy that one time from blowing off his fingers. All the other kids dared him to hold that M80 and light it. And I said, no, Billy. Even though I really wanted to see what would happen. What happened at the bunker, Jess says we did the right thing. Foster says it too, so that means we did the right thing. I didn't do anything mm. wrong. Us or them, and we chose us. I'd do it again, probably. So that means it was right, right? When you can look back on something and know that you would do it the same way all over again, that's deja vu, I think. Something happens and you say, you know, that's the way I'd do it a second time. Deja vu. That's how I know I did the right thing. Yeah, not the sharpest tact, but uh, also missing a certain moral compass there. So, uh, yeah, no sign of, um, no sign of Casey's, fr Casey's friend here. All right. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Here, step back. That I did not need right now. Drawing extra attention to myself, you know what I mean? Oh, 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 oh. How are you doing it? There we go. Okay, that door was locked. Maybe there's a door. Oh, how you doing? That's interesting. Maybe some guts would be a good idea. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just grab one of those. What is that? Didn't he? Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Hold on a second. Nope, nope, not that. Got it. I was just hold that in the bag there. Might be useful in a situation. Okay, I see an exit. 
Yeah, this is about halfway used. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, not much choice in the matter there, though, right? Uh, <sighs> hold still. Ooh. Yeah, that extra Nutriscuit is going to be useful, I think. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay, I'm seeing a trail of blood. Oh, I'll take that. Whoop! Hi, how you doing? Were you a teacher? Please tell me you were a teacher. It would make that so much more interesting. This is a folding chair. Um. Okay. Oops. Okay. I guess you want to push, right? You want to push. Here, turn that off for a moment. All right. Uh. No, friend of yours inside. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Gonna have to reach for that food pretty soon, I think. Yeah, a trail of blood. Alright, come on over then. Come on, come on. There you go. They just seem to be popping up all over the place, don't they? Alright. Uh, turn that off. Come on. Come on. Come on, you're a fresh one, aren't you? You're a fresh one. Just get eaten? Welcome to the zombie ranks. Yeah, trail of blood. This, uh, does not port well for, uh, Casey's friend. Okay, don't get seen. Alright. Hello? Nah, he's got a beard. He said he was a big brother. He didn't say he was like a father figure. Uh. Yeah. Take that if nothing else. Right. You have anything good around here? I mean, he's probably over there, but you know, he's been waiting a while anyway, so I think he could probably wait a little bit longer. I mean, come on, it's a cafeteria. You don't have any Twinkies around here? Okay. How did that end? Oh! Oh, hi, you're alive! Awesome! Oh, didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. Is your name Kenneth? I yeah. How do you know my name? Casey asked me to look for you. He's alive. In the bunker. He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? <laughs> That's good to hear. I didn't give him much chance, honestly. Thought he'd have blown his brains out by now or shriveled away to nothing guess i underestimated him if you make it back to him tell him these few things for me tell him he's a good guy the guilt it's not his tell him to let it all go what happened at the bunker he needs to wipe his brain clean tell him kenneth said things right killed trent just and then foster okay you need to write it down or something what do you mean the guilt casey mentioned something horrible happened at the bunker is that what you're talking about fuck it i've got nothing to hide we killed dozens of innocent people civilians trying to to get into the bunker. <laughs> when all the shit with the dead walking started to go down, we had orders to keep everyone out of the bunker. 
I don't know why. It, it didn't make any sense. But when it got too tense, we, we freaked, we mowed them down. Vietnam-style shit. Casey just stood there. Like a ghost. It, that fuck Foster started screaming at him to open fire with the rest of us. Later, I asked Casey if, if he fired. He, he said that he pulled the trigger because he, he was scared that, that, it, that if he didn't, we, we, we'd all turn on him, add his body to the pile. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. I believed him. He begged me not to tell the others. He didn't trust them. But he trusted me. We were friends. Listen, my brain is it's, it's, it's getting foggy. I'm, I'm seeing shit. I, I, I don't know how many words I got left. End me. Please. One more question, Kenneth. You said you killed your squad mates. Why? We all deserve death. For what we did, champ. They were gonna hurt Cousin Timmy, and I couldn't let them do that. I had to make sure. They were never gonna hurt no one ever again. Right, Uncle Tommy? Hey, 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 hey. Before you go to the bowling alley, blow my fucking brains out, yeah? That's the only way to remain human all the way to the end, right? Yeah, his brain is jelly. <sighs> well, I guess that's that. We got the halfway point, and I don't have a full bag, so maybe I might want to look around just a little. Because I don't see anything here. How did you hang? Never mind. Alright, so you know what? Let's just look around here and see if we can actually find something. Hmm. It's been a while since I've been at school. Alright, let's be very careful here. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to come back for a nice long search. But I don't see... Anything. Huh. Okay, well, I mean, that makes sense. A gun in a classroom, you know? Okay, it looks like this is locked off. Oh, hi, how you doing? I'll take that. And, you know... Oh, Twinkie! Twinkie, you know what? I have an idea. Um, let's just eat this right now. Mm. Alright. Hey, Bet Bet, you want to help me with something? Okay. Ooh, there's a whole bunch going in there. Uh oh. Let's see. Anything good in here? Yeah, I saw the razor blades, but I mean something good. More Twinkies would be good. Okay. Oh! Uh, well, you know, it's broken, but it's worth some stuff. Ooh. Hidden room key! Interesting. Interesting, indeed. I don't see anything else around here, so we should probably move along. Right. Oh, is that soda? No, it isn't. Look like it was soda from here. Oh, I'll take the sardines. Twinkies! No Twinkies! Okay, watching the time. We still got some time. So, you know, the thing about it is, it's a school, so there might be some good firearms and stuff in here, you know what I mean? Oh, hi. 
Um. Ooh. Okay. Only one of you saw. You must have been the top of the class there, right? right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh. And I'm just a chick magnet. There it is. Hold still. All right. Um, hello? Okay, that means somebody else saw me. Okay, uh, come here. Okay, that's not good at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, back. Yeah, that is not what I wanted to happen. All right. Oh, how you dropped that on the ground? Hold on. And... Ooh. Yes, I did drop that on the ground, because I don't have that. Unless I put it in my inventory. Is this mine? Yep, that's mine. Put that right there. I got this. Oh, this is about to go. Excuse me, could you just wait a few moments, please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, time is going to start becoming an issue. Is that an opening to the outside? Excuse me. Okay, that goes outside. Oh, 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 oh. Hold still. Huh, anything in here? Bathroom, not interested. Is that another bathroom? Probably is. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Hi! Not too quick, are you? Alright, so I should probably start making my way out. We can definitely come back for a return visit. Okay, I guess you did see me. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, hold still, hold still. Where does this leave out anyway? Okay, that's the gate. I do have some more time. I mean, I guess eh, there's a lot in there. You know, I think it's time to go. I can always come back to school. All right, get the stamina back, because I might get caught up in a long-term fight, and I don't want to do that. Right. Hey, how you doing? Oh. Right in the face. All right. Yeah, it's a good thing for me that that actually opened, because I would have been in trouble then. All right. Yeah, not too much in the loot there today, huh? Oh, hold still. And you too. Hold still. Is there something over here? Nope. And I think I should definitely be moving along. Anything around here? Yeah, unfortunately the bag isn't doing too well here. But, uh... We could always come back. Not a lot of time now. But we did get the answers that we wanted. And we also found out what it was that Casey was keeping from us. Yeah, apparently the people he um, didn't like, he didn't like for a good reason. They uh, weren't so nice. See, the tourist isn't so nice. But gunning down a lot of civilians, yeah, that's where the tourists would draw the line. No, 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 that's what... See, killing bad people, that's one thing. Killing a bunch of innocent people, that's something completely different. Alright, I guess we should probably just break the news to Casey now. No sense in uh, delaying. 
And May, we can take care of May tomorrow. We'll, we'll take care of May tomorrow. Unless, of course, the tower has something that I really need to do. All right, so let's just get over here. Get him on the radio. All right, grab this. You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? I found Kenneth. You did? Is he still alive? No. He's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. Shit. Rest in peace, Kenny. My friend. What did he tell you? He wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? He said you're a good guy. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it. From his perspective. But I am curious about yours. Well, if he told you what happened, why do you need to hear it from me? You know what you need to know, right? And you've told me my friend is dead, so we can move on, yeah? We move on after you tell me your side of the story. All right, hard ass. You want to hear what happened? Fine. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians, right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there, a coward. And now I don't sleep. I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a ten-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? Those are just facts, Casey. I already know the facts. What I need to know is your perspective on the whole thing. There's a reason why you can't sleep. You're twitching like a junkie and your chest feels like it's caving in. Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk, just... Give me a second to, to gather my thoughts. It's all... fucking foggy. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's... it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she was... she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me, like he expected me to have his back. But I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Oh, the sounds. A hat. A cross. Man. Sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking on the trigger of my rifle, even though I haven't touched the thing since the day it happened. The feel of the trigger. Did you pull it? Yeah. I didn't want to, but I did. Basic training kicked in. Follow orders no matter what. But I don't know if I killed anyone. I, I may have. Thing is, I'll, I'll never know. Maybe that's worse than actually knowing for certain that I did. You mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man. Shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and... Skull. <laughs> and this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it, it, it hung there for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. The image, I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking... Was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? You'll never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, Tourist. And I can't fucking deal with that.
Listen to me, Casey. Carefully. What happened outside the bunker? It's not your fault. That is clear to me, it was clear to Kenneth. You need to find a way to make it clear to yourself. Yeah, I know. You're right, Torrest. But it's... Uh, it's not easy. Gonna take a lot of fucking work. Hey, maybe when this is all over, I can hire you to be my therapist. <laughs> I charge 300 bucks an hour. Don't think you can afford that on National Guard money. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Look, tourist, this little chat, it's worn me the fuck out. And I've got rewiring to do to keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later. I guess. Okay, so we've taken care of Casey for now. We found his comrades and his friend. His friend actually executed the comrades. It sounded very much like they needed executing too. Yeah, not a lot of remorse for what they did. Yeah, they kind of seemed to enjoy it too. Those are the kind of people you don't want in the world. The ones that revel in killing innocent people. That's not like the tourists. See, when I kill somebody, they're not innocent. I don't consider the tower people walking around with guns to be innocent. Now, the reclaimed, a lot of them at the top seem to be like wacko. But a lot of the people in the bottom are basically people who got thrown out of the tower and joined them not having any other recourse other than starving or getting eaten by walkers. So there's some, there's a fine line in there. However, tower people walking around with guns, yeah, I think they're fair targets. They are not innocent. But then again, if you have reclaimed teams walking around like there is in the shallows right now, yeah, them, they are legitimate targets. Because if you don't shoot them, they are going to shoot you. And nobody shoots the tourist. Isn't that right? Yeah, I know you didn't get to get used today. But you know what? It was a school thing. And I know you didn't lack like school either, you know? So we'll be schooling people in the future just someplace else. Maybe we'll be doing that for May. When May asks for our help, yeah, tower people die. So I think that tomorrow you're probably going to get a lot of use, Babette. Yes, you are. That reminds me, I do actually have some things to turn in. So why don't we just go right ahead and do that? All right, this here. Put that in there. Yeah, do I need this? You know, I'm going to put that aside for a moment because there was kind of a recipe. So I'm wondering whether or not I can make something out of that. All right, so let's see here. Um... Yeah, I'll take that ammunition, and we'll put that in there. And then we'll put the ammunition in there. All right, and let's see. Oh, yeah, pillows. I got some pillows here. All right. I mean, it's got some stuff in there. Yeah, the loot wasn't terrific today. Okay, and this, I saw this. It's got a lot of gunpowder, though. That's pretty good. And that's got some uh, protein. It doesn't have any uh, sugar. But there we go. We got some sugar in there. And I think there was a Twinkie. All right, take that. Um, yeah, we'll put that in there. And we, yep, we got a Twinkie. Yeah, still not enough, though. Still not enough. All right. Why don't we take... Oh, this was about to break. So we're going to have to restock a bit here. Um, uh, why don't we put that over there? Yeah, the opportunity for that didn't seem to arise. Are we done? Yep, we're empty. And we have a key. Literacy becomes knowledge. Knowledge becomes power. Hmm. Hidden room. That could be useful. Yes, it could be. It could be useful indeed. All right, I am going to have to do some restocking here. So why don't we just do that now so we don't have to do it in the morning. Now, the first thing, of course, we're going to need is we're going to need this. All right, because we need the food. We also need that extra food, too. So I'm going to take a Nutri-Stew. Because we definitely did need an infusion there. All right, so I got this. Now, how is this one? I mean, that's probably going to be okay, depending on what we're doing. We do have this. 
and this is nice and fresh and clean here. So I think we're good to go because we can actually go back and use the uh, the rifle. So I'm gonna go get the rifle here. All right, is anything here? I mean, how much ammunition? 74 in the ammunition is still good. And of course, we didn't use any of this, so we got 72. And I think everything else is just good. Yeah, shat it's the workable metal. We need that workable metal. That way we can get to nail bomb, and then we can get the protective gear. Oh, and then we have this, too. Oh, I don't actually need the little guy for this. A time noisemaker bomb. Interesting. That could draw attention away from us. May not be a bad thing to make. Yeah, those recipes we find are very good. And in terms of sugar, yeah, nine more. That's going to be three Twinkies I need to find. What kind of school doesn't have Twinkies lying around? What is up with that? All right, so I'm thinking, though, why don't we take this with us? Yeah, I don't know if we're going to need this the next time, so we'll just kind of like leave. We'll just kind of put that there for now. If I can make a good one, that'd be a lot better. But for now, I think that might be more useful. Because like I said, if May wants our attention, I'm guessing that a whole bunch of tower folk gonna die. And you know what? Tourist is okay with that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. Yeah, going back to school, very uncomfortable, very dark. But we did do it for Casey, and he's hopefully getting himself some closure there. And we've also learned just a little bit more about him. He's not a bad fella, not a bad fella, just in a bad circumstance. And of course, he's in a really bad circumstance right now. So we'll do what we can to get him out of there. As long as we can get our hands on that sweet, sweet reserve. Yeah, I like that military-grade rifle thing. Very good indeed. Yes, indeed. And um, tomorrow, of course, we'll be working for May. And like I said, I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of tower people are going to die. And I'm sure Babette is okay with that, aren't you, hon? Yes, you are. So I think that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed today's little escapade, please give this video a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support for the tourists. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. Not at all.